Hello there, welcome back to my tutorial. Today I will show you how to use table view did select method. First, we will create a table view and add some data. Second, when user selects a cell, then we will display more data in another view controller and the data will be re relevant to the selected cell, okay? So that's something cool. And uh, for this project, I will be needing few PNGs, a few images. So I will download them from my, let's say, okay, I'll go here from flat icon. So I just searched for flag and these are the options which I get. So the publisher is free pick. Uh, he is amazing. I don't know. They are amazing. So download it from there and there will be no images in my project file. So you will have to do it on your own. So suit yourself. There are like almost 262 icons. So it's good to have options. So I'll first drag and drop my images in the, okay. I'll just delete this one and I'll drag and drop this one over here. I guess they are same, but anyways, so actually this is my second shot, uh, second take. So I forgot to delete this from the project. So this is the project I have already created. So I just drag and dropped a uh, image in the asset tab. And let's hop over to uh, main.storyboard and let's start working over here. So first of all, I'll, I'll change this to iPhone X. Then I need to drag and drop a table view. So it's here and uh, we will just uh, change it like we will just give it a prototype cell one and uh, let's select the cell and give it identifier basic cell and hit enter and this will be basic. So let's connect this to our view controller. So control drag and say table view. So let's first add in our data to the table view and then I will show you how to pass data to the next view controller from the cell. So this is something really easy. Like uh, first I will create a class file. So do new file and it will be of Swift file and uh, say country, hit enter. You know it's what you do when you're thinking nobody's looking no one's looking where well, you gotta love a lot whether you want to or you're just dreaming you're just dreaming first you hide then you see oh and you're lonely so cool I need I, I don't know capital of Australia and Canada so here first we will create an array of countries so variable countries countries equal to country and open close brackets so I hope yeah we do can initialize it so let India equal to country and open brackets name will be India just pass in with like lowercase just because uh, our image names like our image names are lowercase so uh, I will capitalize them afterwards when we display them in the table view as well okay so just uh, for now just pass in lowercase for capital will be New Delhi and I just do countries dot append and I will append India not this India I need the element why am I not getting my I just need to pass this man okay this works so let Canada equal to country Canada and capital will be Ottawa and countries dot append append Canada 
And now I need to do Australia. Australia equal to country. Open brackets. Name will be Australia. And capital was Canberra. I hope I get it right. I don't like writing wrong. So Canberra. Yeah, it's right. I'll just append it. So countries dot append and it will be Australia Australia so we are done with that part so let's start adding data to our table view so let's do table view delegate and table view data source that's it so first we will assign our table view delegate and data source so table view dot delegate equal to self and table view dot data source equal to self as well and we are done so let's look up for those two methods uh, I remember them so if you still don't know two methods of data source just click on data source and come on click on data source and jump to definition so we need this two methods number of rows in section and self or row at index path so let's do the number of rows first number of rows in section and return count of our countries array so countries dot count and for function uh, we need cell for row at index path and let's create a cell let's cell equal to table view dot dq reusable cell with identifier and if you remember we gave our cell identifier I don't know uh, basic cell basic cell so let's do cell dot text label dot text it will come from our countries array so countries we will pass in our index path over here index path dot row and dot name dot capitalized okay I told you I'll do that written cell and don't forget exclamation mark so Let's hit play and hope it works. Fast bro, this video is long. Bear with me, but this is something good to know. The part after this is fun. So it's loading. Come on, data. So we have it over here. So if you notice, we select this, nothing happens, okay? So now we need to pass the data from this view controller to another view controller and relevant data, okay? So let's get started. First under main.storyboard and click on your view controller, go to editor, go to embed in navigation controller. Bam. We need this because we can come back from our like uh, the country we selected and select uh, some another country. That's why, so I'll add one more view controller and it will go right beside this one. And uh, I'll click on the previous view controller and click on this yellow button and control drag from here to here uh, to a new view controller and say show. And select this uh, segue and name it show details and hit enter. So stuff we will show is first we will show an image so image goes here and then we will show, show label so first we will show country name and then we will show capital just keep it here I'll just duplicate it so that I get the attributes first of all let's uh, do this let's resize our image to 250 by 250 and put it in the center make sure it's in the center I'll pick the label, put it in the center as well and increase the size like let's go all the way and again all the way. I'll just add some attributes to this one in the center, bump up the size and I'll just duplicate this one and I'll just put it under the label. So I'll, let's do this India and this will be New Delhi and let's assign this image image so it will be India. And it looks good, right? Uh, yeah, it looks good. So let's create a file for this view controller. 
So right click, new file, and this time it will be a Cocoa Touch class, and name it, let's say country, view controller, and hit next. That's it, create. So it's here. And just put it a below view controller and go back to main.storyboard and select your new view controller. From here, just select this yellow button. Go to identity inspector. Yes, identity inspector and start typing your new class, uh, new file name. So, and hit enter. So it's done. And now let's, uh, we need to give the outlets to our new file so that we can change them, right? And I don't see this. So I hope it's no automatic. Make sure you are doing it in the right file. So this will be image view. Hit enter. This will be country label. And this will be capital label. Just below that, capital label. And so we are done with that part. So let's hop over to our new view controller. And uh, under uh, this three outlets, go and create a variable. So variable country. And this will be of type country for sure. Cool. Uh, you can give question mark as well. So and uh, the reason we created this variable is because we can pass data from previous view controller to this view controller in an variable. Okay, we cannot pass data directly to this outlets because they are not initialized. This is the word initialized. Remember that. So now we can do all the stuff here. So country label dot text equal to country dot name. I guess yeah name. Then it will be capital label dot text equal to country dot capital and for image view will be image view dot image dot image equal to country uh -uh dot image and I guess we are done. I, we just need to perform segue and pass the data. So under uh, go back to our view controller file and we need to uh, add one more method which is table view delegate method. Just start typing did select and you will get this method did select row at index path. And so first of all, let's do let cell equal to, uh, let we need to do selected index equal to index path dot row and we have the index now we need to perform the segue so just say perform and it's here perform segue and if you recall this identifier uh, I'll just show you what this is so go back to your main dot storyboard select your segue this one make sure it's this one not this one go to this part and go back to attribute inspector and this is the identifier we need so just copy that one go back to your view controller file and paste it over here between double quotes so double quotes and paste boom and sender will be self so uh, now we are performing the segue now we need to pass the data in order to pass the data we need one more method and this is the last one so the method name is prepare for segue and this one mm, yes prepare for segue and sender okay so first we will ask if let destination is equal to segue dot destination as question mark and it will be our country view controller file so it's country view controller and open brackets if the destination is our country view controller then we will do all this stuff so we will just say destination dot uh, country so we need to save this file so go back and say command s and now if we try doing dash country we can pass our country okay 
so equal to okay so this is a bit tricky so we will pass in our country from our country's array and open brackets and this time it's going to be table view dot selected uh, selected okay index path for selected row and it will be index path for selected row dot we need a row cool and I guess that's it let's run the application okay oh exclamation just fix it and hit run oh we never used that one I'll get rid of that and it's here let's do Canada it works okay I forgot to like capitalize this stuff or oh, let's do that and let's get rid of this we don't need it here sorry guys for doing extra work go back to country view controller and this will be dot capitalized this will be capitalized as well and let's run the application again the reason I'm capitalizing them is like because this are countries okay we need to respect them so it's India Canada and Australia so like I'm going to make a video with dynamic data definitely so for that just wait for a couple of days anyways if you have any question post them in comments if you like my video thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos